Well, fastest qualifier in lane four, European team gold medalist Amy Smith, who clocked 55-4-1 in qualification, out to try and better the time. 55-2-4 that is required for the World Championships. If she does, she will join Francesca Halsell, who qualified in the trials in Manchester in the first week in March. That four swimmers here in touch, all bidding to try and secure that place. And on the turn, it is Smith with a 26-5-1 split. Trying to bring the field back and beat them, of course, to this ASA national title. Smith at the moment, through the 25-metre marker, right up in lane five is Rebecca Turner, City of Sheffield swim squad, second at this stage. And it's Smith at the moment holding off Turner as they're approaching the concluding five. It's going to be tight for third as well. Smith's going to take it. Here she comes. Let's have a look at her time. Smith finishes 55 to 7. Oh, she's going to be disappointed. She's missed the cutoff qualification time by three one hundredths of a second only. Three hundredths of a second away from that qualifying time. Really close. What are your thoughts on that? Um, obviously, I would have really liked to have made the qualifying time. Um, but I mean, it would have got me a relay place, which is also really important to me, so I'm happy about that. Down the pool, going well in two is David Carey. Carey chased Rennick home yesterday in the 400, but at the moment, the field do not have the firepower to go here with the Scott, who turns now with 50 to go, and Robbie Rennick is looking good. Remember the cut-off time, it's 148.72. He's got to be inside that then for a place in Shanghai. Here comes Carey. Carey now is beginning to ignite the burners down in two, but he's likely to run out of distance. Real good contest for third spot between lanes three and lanes five and that's Greenfield in three and Scott in five but here comes Rennick into the final five now watch the clock 148.72 he's got a beat let's have a look at Rennick's time 147.46 Robbie Rennick wins his place in the world championship team for the 200 in Shanghai Robbie congratulations um two out of two job done this week yeah I know I've got a lot more left in me uh I'm sure when it comes to Shanghai, I'll be able to step up again. And 147.4 is a good time. I was 147.8 last, last season, so to improve on that is good. And uh, I'm feeling confident for Shanghai. So both swimmers know just how vital it is to try and record this qualification time. And the fact that they're both neck and neck is encouraging them to keep up the high quality tempo. Now, don't forget in the crowd, come on, let's get behind these two. Let's see if we can lift them to that world championship place. There's 50 meters to go. Look at this, it's nip and tuck. Tad turns first, 149.21. Renshaw second, 149.58. Stroke for stroke now, these two are coming back down the pool. Approaching the 25 metre marker. The race could go anyway. Not only is the ASA, ASA National Championship available to the winner, but also those important places in the World Championship. 15 metres remaining. It's a cracker of a finish here. Now then, remember the cut-off time. 2.28.21, I tell you what, they're going to do it. Here they come. Both of them will qualify. Cracking swimming there. Stacey, congratulations. Um, you've just broken your English record. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Such a relief to have that over as well. I was really nervous going into it. Um, so I'm just glad it's over and done with and I've done a PB. And a good start by lanes four and five. And that's James in four and Simon Burnett in five. Burnett, the freestyle specialist, showing us he's a pretty handy competitor when he comes to the butterfly as well. Now then, we've got one qualifier so far for this. That's Michael Rock. And the time to beat, if you want to qualify for that second place, is 52.86. Good turn off the wall there by James of Plymouth Leander, who turned in 24.43. And now it's James holding off the challenge of Burnett. And these are the two pace setters at the head of the contest. Third, over there in lane six at the moment, is James Doolan. Coming through, though, in the lead is lane four. Let's have a look at the time. There it is, 52-1-3 by Anthony James, Plymouth Leander. The good news for James is that is a qualification time for the World Championships in Shanghai. You've got the qualifying time. Perfect race for you. Um, I wouldn't say it's a perfect race yet, but um, there's a few bits I can work on. But, uh, yeah, really pleased. Came here this week to get the qualifying time. Done that, so I'm happy. 
Well, away we go. One length of the pool, Katie Sexton, 29 years of age now, former world champion for the 200 metres a few years ago, swimming there in lane six. But it is Davis, the Welsh record holder. She recorded that in Delhi in the Commonwealth Games, 28-3-3, that has made the start here a positive start because she's heading the charge down the pool. It's going to be Davis, Davis all the way. Let's have a look what she's going to stop the clock at. Davis hits the wall now on 27.96, a new Welsh record and PB for Georgia Davis. Georgia, as you said, Welsh record PB. You must be really delighted with that swim. Yeah, I'm pleased. I knew coming into this meet that I was ready to swim fast. And I was really disappointed I didn't get to swim the 100 yesterday, but that was a mistake and I'll learn from that now. Um, and I just really wanted to get out and prove that I am sort of getting back to where I want to be. <laughs> Early commitment here then by Walker Hebburn, trying to cling to his coattails is Marco Lochran and uh, falling a little further back is Ryan Bennett who had a cracking swim in the heats. Coming up to the turn and uh, the final 50 and there really is three still in the shake-up but at the head of the shake-up it's Chris Walker Hebburn into the concluding 50. Keep an eye on that clock. Time required 159.72. They're motoring and I tell you what it's within their compass. They're on the schedule to achieve this 25 meters to go now look at the effort here by Marco Lochran Lochran trying to close down on Chris Walker Hebben Walker Hebben looks as though he's got the measure of Lochran Lochran could run out of distance Walker Hebben concluding or into the concluding five meters up to the wall have a look at the time 159.72 to beat 157.20 he's taken it apart Chris Walker Hebben wins his place in Shanghai what a race Chris, winning the title here inside the qualifying standard, so must be happy with that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been where I want to be, so to come here and do it when it matters, uh, yeah, that's what it matters, really, isn't it? Have you just been really focusing on pretty much all parts of the race since March? Uh, mind, mind of Water's been my biggest focus, and I think it's paid off, so... But I've been working with a few people on my mental side of things and so yes yeah, we're going well so this is the final competition of day two on the British Gas ASA National Championships and it's a good start down there by lane three there's Jody Loresh Loughborough University but the rest have quickly leveled up with her Rachel Leffley Loughborough University is also going strong and in fact most of the field are in touch here as they head on into the concluding five, is it going to be Laresh? Is it going to be Leffley? Up to the wall and the touch, and I can confirm it's a win then for swimmer in lane of four. That's Rachel Leffley in 27.38, which equals her personal best. Rachel, equal to PB and taking the ASA title, must be happy with that. Um, yeah, didn't really know what to expect because I never really swim fly, I just kind of. I thought I'd give it a try, so very happy. Could be something worth pursuing? Um, maybe. I don't know, I don't know if I've got it in me to do 100, and obviously it's the 100 that needs to be good, so might stick to backstroke for now. We saw you in the backstroke last night, good PB in that one in the 100 metres. Yeah, really happy with that, because I've been wanting to do that for a long time, so very pleased.